I point the finger at regulators all the time because they have the monopoly power when it comes down to these systems. I mean, they can they can tell a water utility to to jump, and the utility will say how high. So, if the regulator is is incompetent or corrupt, then you are in trouble. Um, but let me you know let me put a a bright light on a couple of things. One of them, or just I'll just give one example that was positive, and that was uh, you know kind of the difference that an individual makes, and and that was when. Um, the, the, the general manager, uh, a new general manager was appointed to, to the Phnom Penh Water Authority in, in Cambodia. And Cambodia is not only one of the poorest countries in the world, but also one of the most corrupt countries in the world. And, and this guy basically said, uh, I'm going to have a professional system. And he, uh, he insisted on getting paid for the water. So the army, uh, had not paid its bill for years. It was a very big customer. Uh, he went to, go, the, the manager went to collect the bill and the guy put a gun to his head and said, the army doesn't pay. And the guy said, I'm a good Buddhist, do what you have to. And then the guy rolled and he paid. And that payment set an example for other customers. So they started collecting money. They started firing staff that were incompetent or corrupt. And they started rewarding staff who were, who were competent. And not only did they uh, expand that system to the slums in Phnom Penh, um, but they also lowered the price of water, especially to the people who were underserved because they were buying water off of trucks at 10 times the official price, but they had no official service. And when they got connected to the official system, the, the poorest people of Phnom Penh suddenly saw their quality improve and their price drop. And that was a, you know, it's, it's, it's widely cited as a success. And it's based on essentially a, a guy doing the right thing. Which is hard to rely on, unfortunately. Correct. But but yes. it's glorious when it when it happens. Um, right. No, you shouldn't rely on it. But it's 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 it, it does show show that, that things can be fixed sometimes. Yeah. No. Sometimes. It, you know, as an economist, I'm always uh, I always like the um, I love the Milton Friedman quote, which I'm going to butcher, but we'll, I'll get it linked up to the right version of it. The quote is something like, uh, instead of uh, trying to find good people to uh, run things, you, you want to have a system where the incentives are such that even bad people do the right thing. And that here's a system case where the incentives were to do the wrong thing. And this one person overcame the, those incentives. And uh, I always like to point out he, he, he was, uh, it's not irrational to be moral.